KB Dubs uh, wants to preface some context by saying family moments are his weakness. He will always cry. So wants to know, did you cry when you wrote the scene with Darrow and his mother? Yeah, I never had to rewrite that scene. And I was struggling to figure out how to write that scene. Then I just had this epiphany that Darrow's mother would recognize him and she'd be the only one to do that. Still feel that I'd know pull on the heart boy inside. anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, that one was... As soon as I had that moment, it was very easy to write. Yeah, I cried. It's almost like, I mean, if I'm speaking for me, and I wonder if it's the same for you, but moving out of home, moving out of, for me, it was a country, and wondering if my parents would even recognize the woman I've become because I left so long ago. Mm -hmm. Do you get that? And then, be, and then be like, you know, there's my dad. It's, it also was very reminiscent to me of that moment in the great movie, Legends of the Fall, when Brad Pitt comes home after like 11 years of being- It's mom's favorite Traveling movie. the world. <laughs> I bet that's yours. Yeah. And, yeah, and uh, his dad is waiting for him, and his dad has had a stroke since he's last seen him, Anthony Hopkins, mm. and has to write on the board, you know, what he wants to say to his son. And then Brad Pitt's expression <laughs> breaks down crying, seeing his dad, because seeing your parents when they get older is hard enough. KB Dub says, yep, totally got me good. Clearance Captain America says, oh, Darrow's mother is the mum we all wish we had. Peace says, best chapter in the series. Next question. Now, Snake Liquid's got a few, so I'm going to intersperse them. Was Fitchner always Ares, even during your earliest drafts of the story? Yes, he always was. I thought that it wouldn't be interesting unless he was very close to the story. Mm. And if you look at certain things that Ares does, Fitchner does while in the Institute, he's trying to dissuade Darrow from trying to win it all. He says, you're good enough. He just wanted him to get under Lorna Arcos' wing. That was good enough. Yeah. He didn't have to win and put himself in the way of the arch governor. Okay, good point. Uh, also, Mars, House Mars, Air, yeah. Um, yeah, it's somewhat. Boop! <laughs> Did you have a list of potential candidates for who could have been Aries or was there uh, ever an earlier version of this point? No, I guess not. Never. Great. Never, no. How and why did you come to select Fitchner as the as the choice for Ares? I wanted it to be a gold who didn't fit in with the other golds. I wanted it to be someone that Darrow interacted with and learned from. And I wanted it to be someone who has virtues but is contemptible. And even Darrow found himself disliking Fitchner for the ways that he didn't fit into the golds. If you look at Fitchner's appearance, his body type, his mannerisms, all very much like Severo, designed to create a wall to reject people before he gets rejected himself mm. and i thought from that sensitivity from that outlier is where Aaron should be born even darrow was so brutal about that in red rising highlighting the fact that you're not taking digestibles to stay in shape you know look at how what of a slob you are you know you man maude yeah you sit in first class one time how do you look at other people when they enter the plane <laughs> yes yeah, uh -huh. yeah. yeah so peasants in the back <laughs> I think that's and I think that's very indicative of how we all behave. If we got body modifications to be like Darrow and then got fit into that society, it'd be very difficult not to look down your nose at Fitchner a little bit. Even if that's your latent emotion. You might not really believe it or say it, but I think, I mean, I think you wanted me to think this, but when I when he became the Rage Knight, I was like, how how? Him? I wanted it to look like he was a, a, a Kiesling, like a, a yes yeah. man. Yeah. And to show that he'd been cozying up to power. And to, then all of a sudden you're wondering you're feeling a little bit betrayed and you're wondering what the fuck. But also then you're thinking, oh, he had to duel to get it. Fitchner's kind of a badass. Yeah. So there's a lot of different emotions that that got to play with. 100%. Horgus Borgus says, it's always been me, boyo. <laughs> yeah. Great quote. Oh, I, I whooped when I wrote that line. Yeah. I bet. Oh, yeah. I, I've integrated so much of the language into my vernacular. You know, boyo, prime. <laughs> I wonder when like Amazon released prime, were you just like, fuck you, Amazon. The series is old enough now that I get annoyed by little things like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 